In a remote village surrounded by rolling hills, a group of young students lived under the mentorship of a wise master. These eager learners sought not only wisdom, but also an understanding of undesirable traits and actions. One evening, as the sun set, casting golden hues across the sky, the boys gathered under a majestic old tree. Sitting in a circle, their hearts and minds brimmed with questions about which qualities and behaviors were unworthy of respect. A boy named Lisa spoke up, asking, Master, we have learned much about the qualities that make a person wise and virtuous, but can you guide us on the qualities and actions we should steer clear of, those that don't deserve our respect? The master, with his calm demeanor, nodded and began to share his insights. Respecting someone means acknowledging their positive qualities and virtues, he began, but it's equally crucial to understand what should not be respected. Let me explain the 10 qualities or actions that should not command your respect. The first quality that deserves no respect is arrogance. Arrogant individuals carry an inflated sense of self-importance, believing they are superior and often looking down on others. This blinds them to valuable lessons from their peers and life itself. Arrogance can lead to isolation, making it difficult for others to connect with them. It hampers personal growth because those who think they know everything are less likely to seek new knowledge or accept constructive feedback. True wisdom comes from acknowledging that there is always more to learn. Arrogance not only hinders personal growth, but also prevents meaningful connections and valuable insights from others. The students listened attentively as the master continued. The second quality not to respect is dishonesty. Dishonesty signifies a lack of integrity and credibility, twisting facts or events to suit personal interests, eroding trust and damaging relationships. Trust is fundamental in any healthy relationship, and dishonesty weakens this foundation. It also has broader implications for society, creating a culture of deceit that hinders cooperation and understanding. Honesty fosters strong bonds and healthy relationships, making dishonesty a quality to avoid and not respect. The master continued, the third quality that deserves no respect is selfishness. Selfish individuals prioritize their own desires over others, causing harm and disrupting harmony in their communities. Selfishness can manifest in refusal to share, insisting on their way, or seeking personal gain without considering others. This behavior erodes trust and creates conflicts, undermining unity and cooperation. Avoiding selfishness fosters a more harmonious and considerate world, where collective well-being is prioritized over individual desires. The master's words resonated deeply as he went on. The fourth quality that should not be respected is cruelty. Cruelty involves actions that deliberately inflict harm, standing in stark contrast to compassion and empathy. Compassion and empathy reflect our ability to understand and share others' feelings, qualities deserving of respect. Cruelty, on the other hand, is morally wrong and ethically unacceptable. Strive to cultivate kindness, empathy, and compassion, for these lead to a more just and harmonious world. Cruelty should never be respected, and promoting understanding and kindness is vital. Moving on, the master stated, the fifth quality that should not be respected is laziness. Laziness is the reluctance to exert oneself or a consistent avoidance of work. Respect should be reserved for those who put in effort and contribute positively. Laziness squanders potential and misses opportunities to make a meaningful impact. Respecting hard work and dedication leads to progress and positive change. Laziness, however, runs counter to these values, and respect should be directed toward those who strive to reach their full potential. Continuing, the master said, the sixth quality that should not be respected is close-mindedness. Close-minded individuals shut themselves off from new ideas and perspectives, hindering their own growth and that of their communities. 
Open-mindedness promotes understanding, creativity, and unity, while close-mindedness obstructs these essential qualities. Close-mindedness prevents the exchange of knowledge and exploration of diverse thoughts, leading to stagnation and a lack of progress. Open-mindedness fosters learning, cooperation, and embracing diversity, building stronger, more harmonious communities. Aspire to cultivate open-mindedness for greater understanding and collaboration. The master then addressed the seventh quality. The seventh quality to avoid respecting is envy. Envy is bitterness or discontent towards others' successes or advantages, a destructive force that hampers personal growth. Envy arises from comparing oneself to others, leading to negativity. It strains relationships and undermines self-esteem and confidence. Envy distracts from personal goals and aspirations, turning others' success into frustration and self-doubt. Recognize envy's toxic nature and steer clear of it, channeling energy into self-improvement and celebrating others' successes. The students absorb their master's wisdom, leaving with a deeper understanding of the qualities to avoid respecting. This knowledge equipped them to navigate the path of wisdom and virtue, fostering personal growth, compassion, and understanding. Their bonds deepened, and they felt a renewed sense of purpose, guided by their master's teachings on the path of virtue and enlightenment. If you found this story inspiring, please show your support. Like, share, and subscribe for more moments of motivation and tranquility. Your engagement fuels our journey, and together we can walk the path of wisdom and enlightenment. Thank you for being part of our community.